is a solderless breadboard. Now, the solderless part of the name makes sense, but the breadboard part, why do we call it that? Well, many moons before this thing was available, people would build circuits on planks of wood, oftentimes kitchen cutting boards or breadboards. And somehow the name just sort of stuck for anything you build a prototype on. Well, sounds like an interesting process. I'm always up for something new, so uh, let's give it a try. A simple transistor-based LED flasher circuit should work well for this test. It's a straightforward layout, and hey, it lights up. That's always a bonus. Along with my traditional breadboard, I'll use some small picture hanging nails, some bare copper wire, a couple of alligator clip leads, the battery and components for the circuit itself, and yes, a hammer. Without any predetermined grid or power buses, we're free to lay out the parts just as they are in the schematic, which is really nice for a change. So we'll need a nail at the junction of each component lead to secure those parts in place. expected the short leads of the transistor might pose a challenge, so I put them in first. But it ends up they're pretty easy to mount. In fact, it'd probably be best if I put the bare wire connections down before anything else. The two electrolytic capacitors are the only parts that need to cross over another connection. Luckily, it's also the tallest part in the circuit, and I can use that to my advantage. Sort of like a built-in standoff to keep them at a safe distance from the other wires. As long as none of the connections seem loose, we're good. Ready for power. Seems like any mistakes would be pretty easy to spot. So, not surprisingly, it works as intended. Hmm, white LEDs on wood grain. Unusual combo. Well, Definitely interesting. I mean, I could see why this technique isn't used too often nowadays. I wouldn't want to try nailing an IC to this thing. But if you're using basic components, it's pretty awesome to be able to recreate the schematic physically like this. And it's really easy to check your connections too. Plus, when you're done, you could always Make a sandwich.